Okay, so a little while ago, um, I mean, actually throughout the few months that G3 has been out, we've gotten some leaks of prototypes, but a few days ago we got like more, and it's more like full body ones and stuff, so it's kind of cool, but yeah, I'll, you know, I'll have some going through on the screen so you guys can see some, and you know, we can kind of talk about some, and yeah, I kind of wish we got some of these ones, like specifically for like Laguna, I wish we got blue Laguna, because it makes sense. I like her blue better than I like her pink, like, I get that kids liked her, like, when they were trying to test the toys out, I guess they liked pink Laguna more, but still kind of just like... Blue Laguna looks better and just makes more sense. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, I just, I don't, I don't get why they're just like, and also it's like, you have plenty of other characters that have had pink in their palettes. Like, you don't need to add every character to, like, you don't need to add pink to everyone's thing. You know, like, it doesn't work. It, it, that, you know. Pink isn't a color that can go on every single character, like, they also keep trying to put pink on Cleo, and it's just like, no, <laughs> it does not work with any of her colors, really, so it's like, it, no, just stop. But yeah, um, anyways, I wanted to go through the characters, like the full body ones specifically. We only really have the full body prototypes for Frankie, Dracula, and Cleo here. And I haven't seen any others, I don't think. Um, we did get one that was for Torlai, but I couldn't really find a picture that I was like, yeah, this is going to work. So, I don't know. There isn't very many pictures of the Torlai one, so I'm just like, I don't know. Um, but... And hers wasn't a full body one anyways, it was very blurry, you couldn't really say anything, so it's kind of just like, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna talk about Draculaura here first, I guess, and you know, we can compare her prototype to the one that she has now, like the base whatever doll. Um, and yeah, so I do like, kind of like the darker colors more, but also some people were like, hey, it could have had, they could have made it so like the colors kind of meet in the middle, so it's not too bright, but not too dark, and I do think that would have worked better, because like, the doll that we got for Draculaura, it's like very bright pink, and it's kind of just like, I don't know. Like, they could have made it a little darker than that, and it still would have worked. I do really like the prototype one, because, <laughs> you know, I just... The darker colors work better with, like, monster characters, you know? So, you know, something about it just looks nice. <laughs> it looks better. I don't know if, like, you know, the bright colors just doesn't really work to me for, like supposed to be scary monsters and stuff and i mean i guess you know monster high isn't really going for like oh yeah they're so scary you know they're not trying to frighten anyone obviously but you know monster high was always kind of known for having that little bit of edge to it and some of the characters having more edge than others and whatever and it was supposed to be like you know barbie was always pink and pretty and like whatever and then Dr monster high was like darker than that <laughs> and that's all why a lot of people liked it so you know them having the bright colors is a little bit sad i guess and yeah i don't know if any of the c characters really have too many dark colors it seems like they're all bright which i mean i get like kids like bright colors and all that but still kind of just like sad <laughs> Because it was like, that's why a lot of people liked Gen 1, is just because it was darker and edgier and it was cool and stuff, and no other doll had that, so, you know, I kind of miss it, but I guess, you know, Gen 3 is not going to be exactly the same, but I feel like they could have still at least kept something that would have, you know, connected them a little bit. I don't know. Something like that, but 
I don't know. Also, I do wish that she had the hat here instead of the headband. Especially since the anima animated series, she wears the hat more than the headband. At least from what I've seen in the animated series, Dracula wears the hat more, so I don't know why they didn't give her a hat. It's kind of weird. I don't know if, like, maybe they didn't know how to do it or something. Also, like, that mesh skirt thingy is kind of cool. I like how the bats kind of, like, pop out. It looks like they're actually, like, glowing. Uh, they got that, like, shiny kind of thing to them, it looks like, so it's kind of interesting. I also like the bat wings on her shoes, that's cool. And like they actually had more color, like there's the black and the pink, that's like, looks like maybe the, is the pink the same on the shoes for the, the bottom part and the shoelaces area? I don't know if that's the same exact shade, but uh, with the shoes that we got, it's just dark pink and a lighter pink. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. I feel like they could have, you know, done something. Like, maybe make the wings black on the shoes that we got. I don't know. Um, and then she got, like, a bat bow tie, which was cool. I think we still got a bat bow tie, but the one, the prototype has it where it's pink. And then the one we got, it's black. Um, so, I don't know. And then her sleeves are black, and then the top we got, it's all pink and stuff, and yeah, I don't know. It's a little, I don't know, weird, I guess. <laughs> like, there's so much bright pink, I don't know, it's kind of just, I don't know. I'm not really a pink kind of person, so it's kind of like sad, I don't know, but yeah, at least like the earrings look the same. I do wish they kind of gave her like darker makeup with the one that we got it's just like pinkish lips and then some whatever for the eye makeup and then the other one has like dark makeup and it looks like it has maybe a little bit more to it i don't know but also the hair is kind of the same just like slightly different shade of pink so the one's more bright and the one's a little darker so yeah it kind of maybe it could have met more in the middle there instead of going full on bright everything but uh yeah anyways i'm gonna move on to frankie um i mean like so for the frankie that we got i think the bright colors kind of work for them but at the same time i feel like it could have still had that like genus kind of thing like i mean we still got like the belt and with the um safety pins and stuff and whatever so that's like you know there's still something there but i don't know um the boots too like it looks like i don't know i feel like the black boots are better <laughs> to me at least the black boots are better but um i mean I, it's kind of cool that like they made frankie be like wearing the trans flag colors that's cool because Gen 3 Frankie is non-binary, so, you know, giving them the trans flag colors kind of works in that way, so, you know, that's kind of cool. So I guess it makes sense that they gave them pink boots with the blue stripe and white on the bottom, so, I don't know, I guess it still works. Um, and then they were still going with the prosthetic, either way. Um, so that's kind of cool. It looks like they, you know, the, the lightning bolt earrings are still there, but the prototype has one blue and one green, and then the one that we got has both greens, so that's kind of like, you know, you could have at least, like, I don't know, give a, give, given us mismatched earrings, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, that would have been kind of cool to do. Um, and then, like, also, like, the prototypes look a little more, like, you know, kind of mature-ish, I guess. So that's also why, like, that's also, like, I feel like a lot of people like Gen 1 more, too, is because it was, like, a little more mature and, you know, just cooler in that way. So, I don't know. It looks like they did try to stick with the 
dress that Frankie had in previous gens, and um, but then they ended up changing that for just a plaid skirt, so they at least kind of kept somewhat of like the whole plaid theme. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. Um, so like Frankie in Gen 1 had like greenish type of whatever, so like, you know, it was just greenish plaid. And then here they're like going with more blue and pink, and then they ended up going with that brighter blue and pink with just the skirt there. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's interesting to see like prototypes and then like the final product to see like where were they going with this? Like what were they doing with this? Um, and like the belt on the prototype, like, I kind of wish they kind of went with something like that more, because, like, I mean, like, it's just, like, the one that we got is just the chain things, and then also Torlai has the chain things, too, kind of going on, so it's kind of, like, maybe they could have gone with something different, where it's a belt with a chain and not just chains, like, that could have been kind of cool, kind of interesting, so, you know, I don't know. But yeah, and then there's like um, safety pins on the skirt and that's like separate from the belt on the prototype. So I kind of wish maybe they could have gone with something like that, but I guess they, I don't know, maybe it was too hard to do and like mass produce and stuff. I don't know. And they actually gave them a, uh, a necklace or three necklaces, but you know, obviously it's all one piece when it comes to dolls so you know but then they didn't give them a necklace in the final so it's kind of like where did that go <laughs> I, I don't know I, it seems like it's a little bit less especially also, I mean I guess they gave them two uh hair pin things but it looked like the Frankie prototype already had a hair pin up top there with the black there so I don't know. They could have kept the one up there and then put two on the side and I don't know. Maybe it would have been too much. I don't I don't know. But yeah, I do like the darker like dress part of it. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I don't know. Something like I, I don't hate either of the Frankie ones. Like it still works for them still like makes sense I guess um, and then I want to move on to the Cleo one because yeah this one like I mean I don't think Cleo like really looks bad in any of her versions or any of her dolls or anything like Gen 1, 2, 3 any outfits and stuff any hairdos and stuff all look great on Cleo like every single thing <laughs> I, I'm just like I love Cleo and her whole thing so much, so it's kind of just like, you know, looks perfect and everything. But then they tried to, you know, give her a pink bracelet there in the prototype, and so that's kind of just like, that doesn't work with her aesthetic. Stop. Like, that's not her color. Pink is not one of her colors. It does not clash well with the rest of her outfit. It's just, no. Stop. <laughs> and I know, like, uh, with Gen 3, some of the dolls that we did end up with have pink accessories. Like, I know one of them has pink earrings, and it's just like, can you stop giving her pink accessories? Also, I don't- is it the same one? But she, like, I don't know if it's- I don't remember exactly if it's the same one. But she also has pink lipstick in one, on one of her dolls, and so it's kind of just like, I have to repaint these things because you keep giving her pink when that's not one of her colors that goes well with her. So I'm just like disappointed there. Also, the prototype had her bangs, like, you know, the straight across bangs on the forehead. And like, that was her hairstyle in Gen 1, so it's kind of just like why didn't we get that like i do love the gen 3 cleo doll but i kind of want the bangs it's a little weird not having the bangs on her like that like i don't know something about it just like that is her like those bangs are her bangs you know 
Like, I'm, I feel like I'm so used to seeing her with, with those bangs that it's like, she needs them. Also, uh, the difference here too, there's like, she has pants in the prototype and a shirt, and then in the one that we got, it's, you know, a dress. So, and I mean, I do like the dress, but I do wish that we also, like, we could have gotten pants for her and a shirt. Like, the pants are cool, also the shoes are cool there, like, kind of cool looking shoes there, um, but yeah, it's like, I kind of wish we got that. Also, uh, the same, same earrings, so that's, that's, uh, same there. Also looks like her lipstick is kind of the same with that, uh, silver piece in the middle. Or not silver, gold piece. <laughs> I don't know why I said silver. It's gold. She's not really a silver person. She's a gold person, so <laughs> I, I don't know why I just said silver. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, at least, like, that, the, that's kind of the same there. Um, she also has a, it looks like a scarab necklace on her prototype, maybe? I can't really tell that much, it's kind of at an angle so I can't really see it very well, but, um, so it's a little bit different and it's all blue and it looks like there's a pink dot in the middle, which, again, why are you giving her pink? And then she has a pink jewel on her headpiece, which is also kind of weird. Um, it looks like they just really wanted to give characters headbands, too, because they gave Draculaura a headband, and then they also gave Cleo a headband, so yeah, it's kind of a little weird, I guess, but they could have given Draculaura her hat instead, and that would have worked, so I don't get why they, you know, they gave Cleo and Draculaura a headband, it's a little weird, but yeah, I guess whatever, though. <laughs> um... Yeah, they, they, they also have like the gold tinsel stuff in her hair still from that so yeah it's kind of interesting looking at all the stuff they kept and all the stuff that they removed too. Uh, it looks like she has some sort of belt on her shirt in the prototype and then it has like the blue like ring things there. Uh, it's probably attached to, to the shirt probably anyways i don't know if they would have done a separate one for that but uh yeah the the one that we got she has like a belt with the bead stuff looking stuff on it and that is removable it's not attached to the dress or anything so you, you can take it off and whatever just for easy taking off and everything so yeah it's kind of interesting there how like you know you can kind of see what looks like a belt there, and it's probably attached, um, but yeah, anyways, um, I don't think we've gotten any others, um, there was another full body Frankie after, like, at some other point, but it's kind of, like, blurry, and you can't really see that much of it, and it looks like the other prototype that we saw anyways, but she has a, or they have a jacket on instead, and there's, like, the Monster High logo on it and whatever, so, yeah, um, I don't think it's really different, it's just a little hard to see, cause it's a little blurry, but... Yeah, um, anyways, I guess that's kind of it for this video, if you, like, you know, if you want to, you can comment what you think down below about these dolls and the prototypes and what you wish you've gotten and, you know, what you wish you didn't got get and all that, so, yeah, anyways, I guess that's it, so, um, bye! <laughs>